the most important statement of my personal faith comes from my grandma, who would repeat over and over, almost like a nursery rhyme, there but by the grace of God go I. And it wasn't until I grew up and had life experiences and would stumble and fall that I really understood what God's grace meant for me personally. I felt that I was missing something for about, you know, 10 years, and then I started looking for a church again. I, I accidentally stumbled on this church while looking, and it's just been a wonderful thing ever since. Definitely been a discussion in our house um, about uh, school and where to send the kids, and the, the biggest thing that stuck out on why to send them to Salem is not the mathematics and the science and things that they are learning here because students can learn that at any school. Um, the difference at Salem is that they are learning about Christ every single day. School's great. I, I drop her off in the morning. I know she's well cared for. I know they're going to learn the word of Jesus. I know that she's going to learn her ABCs and learn how to do math and then just interact with other children. We couldn't put a price on what she'd be gaining here because I knew what I gained here as a student. So it was very important to my husband and I both to find a home base, a church that we could both be comfortable at. And we both thought that this was gonna be a good fit and a place to start building our family. My wife and I actually met in a choir. Um, we've both sung our whole lives. And that was an important part, to be able to come in here and sing to Christ. To be able to sing in the choir, we have to rehearse. We could not afford daycare. Um, so we asked if we could bring Claire with us, and they said it was fine. When we perform, she's actually behind us someplace coloring or playing with her figures. My wife even made her a small robe so that she can come out with us and process. Melissa, um, going through confirmation this year, she's been able to acolyte on Sunday mornings, um, which the first time, I have to admit, I teared up. Recently, with Easter just passing, um, Nicholas came home, who's five, um, and telling me, Mommy, Jesus died for you, and we don't have sins anymore. And um, it's very basic, but he understands it, and he talks about it. And we're hoping Adam will be right along. So he started school after he turned two um, in November. A few weeks he was only in school. I didn't expect very much. And as Christmas came um, closer and closer, he was coming home and singing Happy Birthday every day. After the first couple of times, I finally questioned him, you know, whose birthday was it at school? And he told me, no, Mommy, it's Jesus birthday you know you're thinking in a school setting he's learning ABC's and that he they're working on that but that's not what stuck out to him when I was a little girl my teachers were my role models and the more I volunteer and the more experiences I have here giving back and sharing my faith with students and parents the more energized I get and the more I continue to work as hard as I can to get there as fast as I can so that I can be a part of it and be Mrs. Pickens to somebody else that might be looking for a role model. Hopefully one day when the music minister retires, my daughter will step in and she'll be the music minister here. That would, sorry, that would be our dream if our daughter could um, come to Salem, stay here her whole life and just get all the benefits that we know she will um, from going to Salem. She loves it, we love it, um, it it's just a blessing.